everybody has that picture in their mind of the father standing at the dining room table with the bird in front of him and the big knife and to go cut the turkey. To cut the turkey like that, trying to cut it, slice it off the bones and the bones are all curved and shaped differently is a very difficult thing to do. And you don't get as much out of the turkey. It really is better to carve it separately, put it on your platter, and then bring the whole platter to the table. First, we're going to take off the legs. You're going to slowly come in with your knife and just let it start coming apart, putting a little bit of pressure with your hand so it starts to pull apart and separate. And using just the tip of the knife, you go against where you see the meat is connected to the bone. You just run the tip of your knife along it, and what it'll do is it scores the bone so that the, the meat peels away much easier. When you get to the bottom of the thigh and you get it open, what you can see popping out here is the joint. That's where you cut through. You cut through the joint because that's, that's what you'll cut through. Your knife is never going to cut through the bone. Once the leg is off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate the thigh from the drumstick. Okay, again, the only way to do it is you have to go in the joint and it'll come right apart for you. Then I'll take my drumstick and I'll set it up on my platter where then I'll take the other drumstick on the other side and we'll put the dark meat all together on one end. I take the thigh off and then I take the bone completely out of the thigh, which will leave me a nice big piece of thigh meat. I'm just going to take my knife, run it along the bone, so the meat starts opening up. Then I'll come back off the top side, again, just along the bone. So this way I can literally roll the bone right out of the turkey. Okay? And then you get a nice clean thigh bone out of it. Okay? And you have a nice big piece of meat now to work with as far as the slicing is concerned. The way I learned to do this was I applied being a butcher to carving the turkey. I was trying to get the most out of the bird, get bigger pieces so I could get a nicer slice because of the part of the industry I come from, that's how we think. We think a little different than sometimes a chef does because of what we're trying to provide the service. Okay, now you have all your dark meat sliced in one section of your platter. Now what we'll do is we'll go and we'll take the wing section off of the turkey. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some pressure on the wing here. I'm going to run my knife right along and pull. And again, you're going to see the joint open right up and the wing will come right off. At which time there's another joint where we'll separate the two. We'll set our wing on the front of the platter. We'll put our drumette onto the platter. Now we'll go and take a piece of the breast off, in one piece, so that it can be sliced correctly. Again, with the tip of the knife, we're going to follow the bone. Now the breast bone has a curve to it. Again, want to let the tip of your knife do it while slightly putting a little bit of pressure with your hand, pulling away, so that you can see the breast meat pull apart, pull off of the meat. be very difficult when it's piping hot would be very difficult. If you put real nice piping hot gravy on the table with your fairly warm turkey, when you put the plate together it'll come out, it'll come out just great. And you get a solid piece of the turkey breast in one piece. When you're doing this, when you feel that you don't realize why it's not coming apart, you always have to look to see, because if you just look, you'll see what's connected. Now you just look to see where the meat is connected, that's where the resistance is, and you just hit it with the tip of your knife, and it'll slowly peel itself off. And of course, your wishbone. Now we're going to slice the breast. You want to slice the breast against the grain. So the lines are running this way, I want to slice it against it this way and you will see you'll end up with a piece that ends up solid as you slice it. Okay? 
When you stop seeing the lines, that's when you know you're going in the right direction. Because if you're seeing lines, you're cutting it with the grain, which is the wrong way to cut it. And what we're trying to do is get the most out of the turkey as we can get out of it. I try to take the pieces off in the largest piece possible because when you, the larger the piece you start with, the better, more complete slice you'll get when you go to slice it down from there. I'm a third generation butcher. Started with my grandfather and my grandmother who had a, a small grocery store. They sold everything, produce, meat, started cutting meat. Then the family then followed suit. And this is the way I would present it on my table. That's why I put the wings, that's why when I start my platter, I put the wings up front, I put the drumsticks in the back, I fully separated my white meat and my dark meat, and as I pointed out in the beginning, you can see I, we got an awful lot of meat out of this bird. I mean, you see how much, you get so much white meat by taking the breast off this way, it's really foolish not to do it. The dark meat will go because again, it's in bigger slices, it, it seems more appetizing to people, the next thing you know, the whole turkey goes. 